This is Catholic Daily Reflections for Thursday of the fourth week of Easter. Today's reflection is entitled, Slaves of Christ. When Jesus had washed the disciples' feet, he said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, no slave is greater than his master, nor any messenger greater than the one who sent him. If we read between the lines, we can hear Jesus telling us two things. First, that it's good to see ourselves as slaves and messengers of God. And second, that we are to always give the glory to God. These are important points to live in the spiritual life. Let's look at both. Normally, the idea of being a slave is not all that desirable. We are not as familiar with slavery in our day and age, but it is real and has caused extreme damage throughout the history of our world in many cultures and at many times. The worst part about slavery is the cruelty with which the slaves are treated. They are treated as objects and property which is completely contrary to their human dignity. But imagine the scenario where a person is a slave to one who loves him perfectly and has as his primary mission to help that slave realize his true potential and fulfillment in life. In this case, the master would command the slave to embrace love and happiness and would never violate his human dignity. This is the way it is with God. We should never fear the idea of being a slave of God. Though this language may carry baggage from abuses of human dignity in the past, slavery to God should be our goal. Why? Because God is the one we should want as our master. In fact, we should desire God as our master even more than we desire to be our own master. God will treat us better than we treat ourselves. He will dictate to us a perfect life of holiness and happiness, and we will be humbly submissive to His divine will. And what's more, he will give us the necessary means to achieve all that he dictates to us if we let him. Being a slave of God is a good thing and should be our goal in life. As we grow in our ability to let God take control of our life, we must also regularly enter into an attitude of thanks and praise of God for all that He does in us. We must point all the glory to Him for letting us share in His mission and for being sent by Him to fulfill His will. He is greater in every way, but He also wants us to share in that greatness and glory. So the good news is that when we glorify and thank God for all He does in us and for all the dictates of His law and His commands, we will be elevated by God to participate in and share in His glory. This is one fruit of the Christian life that blesses us beyond what we could ever come up with ourselves. Reflect today upon letting yourself become a complete slave of God and His will today. That commitment will start you down a path of tremendous delight. Let us pray. My Lord and Master, I submit myself to your every command. May your will be done in me and only your will. I choose you as my master in all things and trust in your perfect love for me. Jesus, I trust in you.